Welcome to Burt Ridge Ways Learning for Life Bluegrass Banjo Lessons. And in this lesson, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of review, uh, going back to just switching chords, to doing some different picking patterns, uh, introducing a picking pattern, and then working a little bit on rhythm. So before we get started, I do want to thank my patrons for making these lessons possible. I could not do it without their help, and it's only because of them. These lessons are free and available and are not subscription. And only because of patronage that these lessons can continue that way. So thank you for those who have been giving. And uh, anyone who can give would be greatly, greatly appreciated uh, so that we can keep these lessons going on. So we're going to get started. And uh, we're going to just, as I said, do a little bit of review. And what I want you to do, this is sort of like the song that never ends. It's just an exercise but I want you to play the third string and then pinch. And I'm going to have you pinch all three strings, which means the first, second, and uh, fifth. So third, pinch, then fourth, pinch. Third, pinch, fourth, pinch. What's real important when you do this is I want you to do this without looking down hand. And once you can do that, I want you to play three, pinch, four, pinch, three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one, three, pinch, four, pinch, three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. Now notice I'm not playing three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one, three, two. I'm not playing it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and which is actually more correct. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and I'm playing it with the rhythm of saying perhaps the word chat Chattanooga. Chattanooga chat. you to make a C chord. Do the same exact thing with your right hand. And back to G. Make a D7 and instead of doing all the strings, I want you to hit the third string with your thumb and then pinch the first two strings, just picking up with the index and middle. And that's all we're going to do there. Then open three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. And then on the fourth string, two, with our index, four with our ring, and then back to three. And we're gonna start it all over. So from the beginning, it's gonna sound like this. Seven, three, two, five, one, four, 
Let's open again. keep going on with that now what I want you to do is do that without looking if you have to look at it your hands look at just one hand but don't look at both so in other words look at just your left hand if you have to but not your right hand or and then just your right hand and not your left hand but your goal is not to look at either hand as you play through that so the things to focus is getting your chord changed smoothly and easily and the second thing is to keep that chat to do good chat to do good chat to do good chat to do and if you mess up like i just did You want to do that. Uh, we have talked about going forward rolls. We've talked about alternating thumb rolls. A backward roll is just the opposite. I don't know that we specifically have done this, but instead of playing thumb, index, middle, you're playing middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb. And it's good just to sit there and do this. on the backward roll and then a forward backward roll it's simply doing a forward roll and then a backward roll so we're gonna play let's try it this way uh, three two one five one two three one thumb index middle thumb middle index thumb middle one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and So those are the things you want to work on with this lesson. Not a long lesson, but a lot to work on. And uh, again, your goal is to not look at either hand. Uh, work on getting those chords down. Uh, work on getting the different picking patterns and keeping the timing of chat to new, good chat to new, good chat to new, good chat to new. Very good practice all the way around. So thank you for watching, and we will see you on your very next lesson.